punches that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite chance. Everything I got has moved on, and I'm here. But, you know what? It's okay. Because I said to myself, if I break, I'm hurt. But I ain't gonna fix it. After everything that happened, I decided to take a break from my football life and get in touch with an old friend of mine. I explained everything that happened and the reason I'm back today. He started to laugh, and I asked him what was funny. He said he always knew I couldn't drive. He also told me that everything happens for a reason, and I should not look at the situation as a setback, but more so a humbling experience of how everything can be taken away in the blink of an eye. I also went back home. I went back home to go visit my mother, wondering if she knew what happened in Manchester and how she felt about it. She told me of course she knew what happened and she was just glad I came by to see her. She then asked what I was going to do going forward. I told her hopefully I could find a team here interested in me, and then my friend said he knew an agent looking for clients to represent. She was a little skeptical, but I assured that it would be no funny business happening, and that I'd make sure everything would go right this time. The next morning, I was set for an early morning workout with my friend. I've been hitting the gym pretty hard since I left Manchester to keep myself in top shape. He said today we were going to work with his trainer, and I kid you not, she was a damn good trainer. A lot more than what I expected. Fact is, over the next few weeks, you will despise And come July, hopefully, we'll be lifelong friends. We'll meet here every morning at 6 to prepare. It's not the army fellas, loosen their shoulders. I could tell by her demeanor she was going to work us, and that she did. Replenish. Uh, Catch. After the workout, we were set to meet the agent. And what do you know, this isn't the first time we've met him. For if you remember, this was the guy who set up my deal with Nike. He said essentially he was a scout, but the company dropped him after he made a big push for them to sign me. Then, of course, them having to let me go, they let him go. He said he knew and still believes the potential in me. And as an agent now, he's excited for the future ahead. Later on, he called up with me in a diner, excited to tell me he got off the phone with the New York Red Bulls and, they would, and said they would be delighted to have my talents 
saying he already worked up a contract and all I had to do was sign on the dotted line. I told him I was ready. So here we go. Welcome to season two of our Become a Legend. We had just signed a contract with the New York Red Bulls and I know you guys have been waiting on season two. And it is finally here. Season two is here. Go ahead and like up the video. I know it's been taking a while. You know, I just literally just got done with a birthday and my birthday just passed. And a couple of other things, you know, dealing with, you know. But we are back here. As you see, we're back in the States. And all, all I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to go through the messages and see what I got. I got a message from, you know, the, the team saying we got a, a new guy here. Um, also, if you go back, you know, in the messages, it also said I could request my own number. So right now we're rocking the number nine. I, you know, I rocked the number seven. So we're going to make a request to get the number seven jersey. See if they let us get it. You know, also what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, you know, to my training. You guys said I was a little bit overpowered, you know. So we're starting from the bottom after the injury, after, you know, everything. It's a whole new beginning. And here I'm just going to put up everything besides my passing and my defense. I don't think I really much need to play defense now since I'm in an attacking position. But everything else, stamina, shooting, very important. So here we go. We are simulating to our first game, and we have our first game against FC Dallas. And I go back into the messages here, and we get a message from the assistant coach saying that I will not be able to get the number seven that I've always worn throughout my club history. But it's okay. We'll just wear the number nine. We'll be number nine. And we also get a message from the coach saying we're going to be starting center forward here. We're starting our first game for the New York Red Bulls at center forward. You know, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. You know, the competition may not be as great as the Premier League because it is the MLS. But you got to remember, I'm not as good as I was then. We're starting all the way from scratch, basically almost like a new career mode, basically. So as you see, we're coming out of the tunnel. The atmosphere is a lot different in the MLS. You know, in, in, the, in the States, soccer is not as big as it is in, in England or uh, overseas. But, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the older overseas players do come to the MLS to come and play. They usually to retire. But now we're getting a lot of youth talent through the, uh, through the MLS. So possibly you never know what you'll see here. So here we go. Our first game in the MLS. A new country, a new team, a new position. Let's get it. We're kicking the ball off, going back forward. This is the second time you've ever seen me kick the ball backwards. It's my second time playing center forward. And maybe our time for the U.S. national team has us playing center forward as we are receiving our first touch of the ball. I'm making a turn, releasing it. Trying to make some moves happen, but I'm getting the ball taken off of me. FC Dallas comes back on a counterattack. Great positioning, great attacking positioning as he takes a shot and it goes wide right. I don't know how he did not finish that. It's a great run made here by the FC Dallas player. I don't know how he didn't score that. That might have been the easiest goal. And you see, we're calling for the ball here. It goes a little bit far, but we track back to get it to pass to our defender. He plays the ball forward, giving it to me. It rolls off my back. And we almost lose possession of the ball, but we still have it. He makes a great pass to find one of our teammates who gets an open shot. And it gets our first goal of the season by Romero Gamara. Beautiful run, beautiful goal. Good thing I didn't call for it. I think I, I did call for it, but he did not give it to me. Because I wouldn't have scored. <laughs> I would not have scored. But a, a great way to start off the season. We go up 1-0. 
against Dallas. Here we go, we're back on defense. FC Dallas coming up the field here. He's making a, a run here. He's cutting inside here, gets a shot off, and it goes wide right. It's a constant thing with FC Dallas for it to go wide right, as we do. You see us coming down the field. We have possession of the ball, playing it into me. I'm trying to do something here with it, but I end up losing the ball here. One thing you'll notice about this New York Red Bull team, their defense is pretty good. As you see me coming back to play some defense, so I'm taking possession of the ball. I try to do a little cut inside, and I'm losing the ball here. My skill moves are not as good as they once was, barring the injury. But my hustle and defense are always going to be there as I'm losing the ball again here. But we get it back. He goes down the right side and plays it inside to me. I get our first goal in the MLS. We scored our first goal at center forward as you see the signature celebration as you've seen plenty of times before. That is great awareness by our team to make a one, one great pass after another to find me right in the box. I don't know what the defender was doing, but he was not there. I kept going. The goal is wide open. You gotta score that. What a way to return back. Our first game back. We're scoring a goal. Now we're up 2 0. There goes FC Dallas with a header. FC Dallas comes so close to scoring each time they come down the field. It's always something that keeps them from putting the ball in the back of the net. And this time it just happens to be a bad header. We do get the ball back here. They're playing it down the left side of the field. I'm calling for it so we can get a little one-two action. You know, you guys know exactly what I like to do. I'm calling for it back, but I can't get it. Goes to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper gives it up. But we get the ball back here as he's playing it to me. I can't really see who's in front of me, of course. Camera problems. It's okay, though. We get it back, and I'm trying to hit it into the left corner. It's a little off. Left foot not as strong as the right. It's gonna be okay though. We got that's what training's for. That's why that shooting is plus six. As you see, it's getting past one defender. It's like the the good old Manchester United days getting past another defender, like the good old Aberdeen days. See what we can do with it. I'm releasing the ball here, but it, he he loses it. I pick it up for him, and we might get a goal here. But oh, the goalie is right there. I should have aimed a little bit more to the right, and. I don't know what they're doing. They're passing it back. We probably should have scored off that. Doesn't matter. We get the ball back. Playing it down to the middle of me. I'm playing it up in the air. I probably should have played it on the ground to his feet. But we're losing possession of the ball. They're clearing it. We get it back here. You see me calling for it. We got to make something happen here. We got to make something happen. We got a guy in the box. And as soon as I try to give it to him, I'm stumbling and everything. And I, I just go for a shot gets deflected we get the ball back time to reset let's see what we can do with the reset as you see me calling back for the ball in the middle and they're taking the ball away from me again need to be a little bit less selfish we're coming you see me back on defense uh, see me back on defense getting possession back of the ball and I'm just trying to, to hold up play right here just see what I can make happen as you see me do a little fake shot and I get fouled, no foul call here, just to play on. They get the ball back. Did not make anything happen with it. We got it back. And you see me coming down the right wing. Like the good old Manchester United days, looking for a guy in the box here. Showing that I still got the wing playability. And you see me fire across in there. Good header, just not strong enough to get past the goalkeeper. We do get the ball back here. You see me calling for it. I'm playing it into the middle to our teammate. Playing it to our another teammate as I, he plays it back to me. And I get a free lane down the middle. And we can score our second goal of the game. Two goals in our MLS debut. James Wayne is back. I am back. And this is a marvelous day to come back to show the world that we have not been lacking any confidence 
We have not been lacking. We have not taken a day off. We've been continuing to work hard, even though everybody doubted me. And we go into halftime. 3-0 against FC Dallas. Wonderful first half. Let's see if we can get that hat trick in the second half somehow, some way. You see going down the right wing once again. Look like just like the good old Manchester United days as I'm playing across in the middle. He's chest flicking and trying to hit it off the volley. But it goes wide right. And FC Dallas here is getting a foul. Yeah, They're going to receive a free kick right outside of the box. It's what a dangerous territory to give up a free kick as he strikes it. And the goalkeeper saves it. Do we have a David De Gea on this team too? Look at this magnific magnificent save. They do get a corner off of it. And as, as good as defense as we're trying to play, we're giving up another foul and another free kick for FC Dallas. This time, FC Dallas capitalizes on their free kick, and they score their first goal of the game. If you keep giving them chances, they will score one of them. And there you go. He hits it off the left goal post into the right goal post and gets a goal. Coming towards the 60th minute here. We're still trying to find our hat trick, see if we can get it. As you see, the strength here, we've been hitting the gym, and we got a little bit of speed too. And we still got a little skill moves, but we're losing the ball here. As we try the exact same path down the wing, it's like I'm not even playing center forward anymore. I'm basically a winger. Giving a cross, and he goes for a bicycle kick, and it's way off. It's okay, though. You see me down the middle again, Catamore in the midfield position, trying to hold up play a little bit. And you see me playing one two, trying to get back. I get past one, and I try to curl one into. I try to curl one into the top right corner. That would have been a beautiful goal for the hat trick. Just imagine that shot going in. That might have been one of the most beautiful. That might have been the best goal I've ever scored. For me to be as low rated as I am. And for me to get a, sh a shot off like that in the top right corner would have been amazing. As you see, FC Dallas, of course, again, getting another free kick right outside the box. In the 88th minute, they, they, they start a little scuffle. But here they go with a free kick here. And, oh, another great save by our goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper is in top form saving these free kicks that are so so well played and that is going to do it here for the end of the game we win our first game in the MLS for the New York Red Bulls we scored two goals we are man of the match here James Wayne is officially back season two has officially started as you see we get the 7.5 rating and just so you guys don't think I was lying I'm going to show you guys our rating I'm going to show you guys that we are starting over because you guys said I was overpowered. See, we are a 69 overall. We play one match. We have two goals. I'm telling you, this is a, a restart, a new beginning for James Wayne. Welcome to season two. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in to the next episode. Peace.